Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling here and we're off for more of a hat in time and in the last episode. We went back to the Alpine skyline after handing in some of our tokens to get a few more flares which we're really running out of and I got the ladybug thing. But we did take out both the Curly Trail Trail to Blue Time Rift that actually showed up after we completed the windmill. And that means we only have one peak left to check out, which is the birdcage that we see off in the distance. Before we head off to that one though, and I want to keep this hat on for now because we're going to be using the crown probably one final time in this very level. Um, but the thing is, is that what I want to do is head straight toward the area, but I don't want to go all the way. That zip line is the zip line we need to take, but if we jump down halfway down here... I don't think any hourglasses fell this way. This is actually an optional area, which I kind of count as part of Alpine Skyline itself, just a main area, because it's the only other offshoot from the main location that you start at. The Goat Refinery has, like, only one item to find, it's at the very end, in a chest, and yeah, it's just another platform challenge. That's the thing, most of the time it's just platform challenges while grabbing stuff, but obviously it's not that simple, we need the money. And this is actually kind of a complicated one, so just gotta be careful on how we actually nail our platforming like that. I somehow survived that, that was very bad of me. I have, we had a lot of jankiness in the last episode as well. Things weren't working, I was getting stuck on stuff, I fell through platforms that were supposed to be completely solid, and we got actually through that pretty quick. <laughs> and to be told, this was actually like um, another recording, because something went wrong. For some reason I couldn't climb that ladder to get up here. I was bugging out and just couldn't grab it. So yeah, <laughs> that went a, not only a lot quicker, it also went a lot smoother than before, so I apologise for that. But it's all fresh from here on out. Well, I say that. I've already played the game before, but you know what I mean. Now, um, I could just be a cheap dude and just fall, void out, to get back over here quicker. Or, you know, I could do it legit. So that's what I did. So janky just getting swung around. This janky seems to be a common thing nowadays. I don't know why. I forgot to switch off that ladybug hat. Let me do that very quick, because I don't like it. Put our current uh, flare that we had back on, the aviator hat. Actually, no, I don't want the aviator hat because we've already got like uh, Ralph's goggles and they look pretty similar. So yeah, I'll just go with the standard. Bugger it. Run away! Please don't kick me! Aha! That was actually not enough height. And that is death and I'm back in the beginning, of course. Yeah, sometimes that's really helpful, falling and voiding out in order to get spat back at the beginning so you don't have to actually make your way backwards all the way through a location if it's just a dead end or something. But sometimes it's also not a good thing because that means you've got to run all the way back like I just have. And I'm not taking an ice panel, it'll just take us back to the uh, Twilight Bell uh, zipline, so we're just going to ignore that. Grab those ponds, however. That is something I do want to do. Why can I not? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I couldn't hookshot the thing. I think that's why I don't find this my favourite level, because th th there is a lot of jankiness at times, and saying that, I actually do want the low bonk badge. Because I just barely miss platforms, or when you fall and you think you're going to avoid out, you land on a platform just beneath the clouds, right above the kill plane, and it's like, that's annoying, that's just wasting more time, and I did not snap onto that, that's my own fault. I kind of overshot the jump. This way doesn't lead to any peak. This is the way I want to go starting off with, despite actually having a little shiny on the zip lines in the other direction. And I talked over that guy, so I kind of owed to be silent the next time we bumped into him. Uh, yeah, or her, depending on what they are. They sound like hers. Um, but yeah, I want to go up this way, and we're going to be wanting our King Boo's crown again. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to be abusing um, mods that often, but I haven't shown the King Boo's crown off <laughs> at all in this Let's Play, effectively, this walkthrough, so I'm going to use it. But that's only because that we can't attack them when we're invisible, but they can't attack us either. But if they do hit us, those cats, when they're invisible, that's kind of annoying. And even if you're invisible, if you walk into them, they hit you as well, as I've said before. So I think I spy some treasure. Yeah. Uh, there's a rift token all the way over there, which we're going to have to go grab. But that's actually not the one treasure that the game actually told us about. For some reason, that's just an additional. And no, it's not a PC exclusive. So I do not know why it doesn't say there's two to collect. I'm guessing that's just the secret one. Like, you can see it, how do you get to it? If you go through normally, you'll just find another chest. And I'm guessing that's why it says there's treasure, because it's 
hidden in a chest? I mean, most of them have been hidden in chests. So that's a thing. Oh, I see you. You're not swiping my hat. <laughs> Problem is, it's kind of hard to navigate because you can't see where you are either. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you... No, you don't even have a drop shadow. <laughs> that's pretty bad, actually. Oh, well, thanks for knocking me into one of those peckers, you mug. Have at you. I'm just going to keep on home attacking then, I guess. Oh, no! I thought I... Wow, okay, never mind. It's like the first initial hit that they do only knocks you around, but this... if you get hit during that moment, you take damage, and it's really unfair. At least I didn't take my hat. I has my hat. So, let's get back up this way again. No, I see you. I see you. I see they're shimmying. Because of the lighting and whatnot. Don't hit me. Thank you. That could have actually been a very bad angle to get knocked around in. Oh, no, no, no. Apparently they can actually still see me. Okay. I, last episode they were having trouble seeing me with the uh, active, but apparently they these ones can see me. They're, they're the hardcore ones. They're not tricked easily. Let's put that up. Oh, okay. Just blow one up. Leave the other two intact. There we are. Get a bunch of ponds. We only need, we need less, just over 206, no, just under 260 more in order to finish off this area. And I completely forgot to grab out the one on the bloody pillar because of all these cats, but that's kind of the secret one, so we'll get the normal one first. Because we've got to go downwards anyway, it's kind of near the beginning, so that's not a big problem. This is the order I normally do it in anyway, but I was talking about it and then the cats appeared. <laughs> nope. Wait, hey. Well, we lost our hat and <laughs> Cat Kid's not amused. Two homing attacks to these guys. Got it. Got a hat bag. Right. So that's the way we need to go. There's nothing up that way, right? Yeah, because they can't. Whenever you see these cat flaps, that's pretty much meaning, hey, this is an indicator saying that you're going to be fighting these cats in a minute. So you got to be careful. Keep your eyes peeled. Funny thing, we can actually jump right below from where we start here in order to go back to the beginning. So it was, yeah, just right above the start. But this is pretty much what it's needed to complete the area. It's just not the only item. So technically we haven't cleared it yet. We need to head backwards. So we're going to hop on here. Come down this way. And we can actually see the shiny right here. So that's actually perfect coming this way. And I just need a good angle. There we are. Get a bunch of ponds. Yeah, that's why those legends are kind of like secluded out of the way. You can't even see them from the beginning. But jumping from above is probably the better option. Alright, so, hop back around this way, climb up. Both of those were rift tokens, by the way. The one in the chest was a rift token. It was not a re relic, so don't have to worry about your relic score at the moment, but that will change soon. Um, my hookshot didn't want to go off, but that spawned me at the beginning anyway, so that's fine. So that actually worked out rather well. Just would have liked to have a little bit less damage taken, personally. Alright, so back at the fork. I'm going to head back to the beginning here. Can I make this jump? Big leap! No! Should I pull back a tad? Oh, well, back at the beginning anyway. I'm about to die though, so that's not good. Uh. Don't know what to do. The house is this way. And that's why we need to go this time. Now, I just need to make sure I don't actually fall to my doom. Because <laughs> I've got no health, and if I die, that's bad. I mean, I'm not going to get spicked out back to the beginning of Alpine Skyline. I'm just going to get spicked the way I normally am before if I void out regardless, but yeah. Was tempted to come this way in order to pick this up, first of all, but since the other way's a dead end, might as well grab this along the way. Just a brewing yarn, hanging, literally hanging around. Just realised the pun as soon as I said it. <laughs> there's a bunch of ponds down there, which seems like a very cheap thing to do, because I don't think there's actually anything down there. Looks like we've got another split path thing to do yet again. Yeah, there's nothing down there, so I don't know why there are ponds down there to lead you astray. Kinda cheap. Oh, I kind of got stuck there. That was a bit odd. Yeah, if you don't go left and right yourself, Hat Kid just goes with the G-forces, which is a very nice touch in the uh, physics, I will say. You can see the lava cake in the distance right there. When I say lava cake, it looks like just a bunch of rings, but <laughs> what are you going to do with your distance? Right? At the top. Well, we got a horn to blow, and we've... Oh, okay, I kind of disappeared there for a moment. Is there actually a gap in the middle there? There is. Do this way. Someone tooting a horn. Or was that part of the music? <laughs> Probably part of the music. I don't really know what to comment on at this point because. <laughs> yeah, 
The, the thing about Alpine Skyline is that I've kind of run out of things to like talk about because I've already talked about the developer comic, uh, like the level. Why can I not make this? I'm having a lot of trouble making this. Oh my lord. I can't double jump and I can't dash out of it. What the heck? There we are. <laughs> so weird. Again, I'm having jankiness in this level. I, I, I think I've said this already, but just in case if I haven't, and just to reiterate that Alpine Skyline, despite how impressive it is, and it is a good level, it's just not one of my favourite levels. I prefer Mafia Town or... Um, well, I didn't not use to like Subcon Forest. I actually preferred that over Alpine Skyline at one point, but I kind of like prefer both Subcon Forest and Mafia Town to Alpine Skyline, mainly because I just seem to bump into quite a bit of jankiness in this level, but I had it quite bad in the last one, and other than that, it has actually gone pretty smoothly for this project, so I can't really complain, but at the same time, it's like... I mean, considering that I know that the level was only made in about four months, and it's not really a story, that's not really that big of an issue. I mean, it's still really impressive on what they did, and they couldn't have had it any other way on the way they did it. And I mentioned the, the desert, uh, it used to be a like, chapter 4, or chapter 5, excuse me, used to be a desert. Uh, that's, uh, that's what uh, people have done for mods, they've actually like, made their own interpretation, which I will be covering at a certain, a certain point. Serpentine bird horn, We're back to serpentine again, and it's green! <laughs> that, bird, that beam was green, of course it is. So yeah, there wasn't actually anything on this uh, area, it was pretty much just to blow the horn to open the split, so we can just drop right back from the beginning. I did not have the the uh, hover badge, I, I was about to say no fall yet again. I don't know why the hover badge is like such a weird name for me to grasp, I always want to call it something different. Maybe it's because of the no bonk badge, but I think I've said this already, so... Recordings, man, I get mixed up with them. <laughs> Because I always record in a batch and then Make it sure you swing towards the path you want. Alright, so now we actually do need to divert off a path and we're pretty much heading toward the birdcage now. But we've still got another segment beforehand. Yep, they have to keep squeezing them in. And why am I not going for these ponds? I mean, the you would think that the magnet badge would grab them, but it doesn't actually have that good of a pull when you're going very fast. We've got a treasure to find down here. What's down here? It's just a spring. Is there anything else actually down here? Except for a bunch of big eggs. They actually look like Yoshi eggs, like purple Yoshi eggs. <laughs> Was that an inspiration? Not too sure. But yeah, other than the level, like, being just, like, a bunch of platform challenges every so often with a different theme, that's pretty much all there is. There's not really a lot to talk about until we get to, like, actual certain set pieces. We've already talked about the backstory of the area, um, with the purple time rift and all that. We saw how, uh, it was mostly the, uh, Twilight Bell and all the other set pieces kind of interwoven into it. Even though that wasn't how it actually is, but you know, it's... You're nearly at the birdhouse! Yeah, we're nearly at the birdhouse, which is one of the set pieces that we haven't done yet, but it's taken us a while to even get there, and I will say, and the reason why I've actually left this to last is because it's actually the more difficult one for me in general, despite, you know, the windmill being a little bit on the janky side. I had a bit more jank than usual there, because I fell through a platform, it's like, what? I'm not trying to diss the game at all, because I've said before, I really do love this game. It's just that the Alpine Skyline itself, despite how impressive it is, is not my favourite level, and that's kind of one of the major reasons why. And this is actually one of the more annoying segments of this level. That should have hit. Really? Oh, come on, really? Fine, I'll come down here and do it from here. There we are. So we got a bunch of blocks to blow up in order to drop some of these uh, panels on the floor, but there's actually an item here that we need to go grab, and it's actually one of the more annoying ones, and we do need the brewing hat for it. So yeah, I wanted to take out those boxes first, but what I do need to do is actually get back onto this zip line here. There we are. Hop across a tad, just go a bit faster. Yeah, and this is the one. These, you got these blocks here on the ledge. What I always thought you had to do was um, blow them up first before landing here, but just land first before blowing them up, and then you have a lot less of an issue. Took me a while to realise that. For some reason, it's ju it just looks like the blocks are on the very edge, but doing it just gets you a nice yarn. Thing is, we're closing up on pretty much all of our collectibles. We've almost done. We're that close to the end of the game. In fact, yeah, we only have three yarn left to grab. Wow, I paused right before that happened. I thought I broke it then. <laughs> But yeah, we've got like three yarn left to collect. That is ridiculous. And you might have noticed that I, um, on my other files, like at the beginning of this entire project, it said that I had about 28, yeah, for, yeah, 
uh, 38 yarn remaining. It's because that I've said it in like a caption when we got the time hat, and it cost 32. Uh, I don't miss that. I can hit it from here. There we are. It didn't actually home in. I kind of just landed on it. But yeah, what we're saying was that the time stop hat cost 30, it cost 32 yarn. It used to cost only 24. They bumped it up significantly during an update, probably to make you actually go for more yarn. So that's a thing. But that was the only item collectible in the Yellow Band Hill. So we pretty much took care of that. That was actually went a lot smoother than I usually have it go as well. And what the heck, game? That was an auto spit off and it spit me into the pit. <laughs> I mean, maybe I was supposed to push forward. I mean, you would instinctively do that, but that shouldn't happen. That's pretty bad. There's a lot of really big structures up on these peaks. I wonder who built them. Birds don't build birdhouses, right? Well, they build nests, not houses. Unless they're sentient. I mean, we got sentient goats. And not only that, this is actually the the first area we intended to go to because it is the biggest area. It has the biggest shine for the uh, timepiece, and it's completely the easiest to set piece to notice. Even during the zoom out when you first load up the level, that it's like, or when you're um, zip lining in, it's the most obvious. But I say I leave it to last because of how uh, big and sprawling difficult it can be. Like everywhere you jump in this area is like a bottomless drop. That's a way I'm duping out the eggs, but there is actually one egg we do need to trick. There's something strange about some of those eggs. Yeah, not wrong there. And what I need to do with this egg... Is it this egg? No, it's not this egg. Yeah, because he can't follow me. <laughs> Look at him bubble. It's got like some weird like tentacles coming out, unless that's like the actual uh, bird inside, but why did they blow themselves up? I mean, look, they leave yolk everywhere. <laughs> It's actually kind of morbid if you think about it. These are birds, they live here, and yet they lay eggs that, ex that come to life, but then explode and kill not only, like, you, but what's in the egg itself. Oh, you! Pecnic! <laughs> I was trying to think of a bird pattern, but I think I'll just go with the hat in time standard. There we go. So, yeah, uh, he really got me there. I don't know what to say about that, to be perfectly honest. He just nailed me, literally. Right, so where's this one that I know that i got to focus on? I think it's this one up here. Yeah, it's this guy. This egg, lead him into that, blows up. I'm pretty sure your own brewing hat cannot take out that bale of hay, so you do need to lure that egg into it in order to get it. That's kind of a tricky one. Right, so let's blow this up. And... Hang on, did I miss something? I feel like I missed something now I think about it. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Yes, I knew it. It was down here, sneaky thing. And the reason why you won't know it's down here is because it's in a chest, so you don't even know it's a shiny. I knew I forgot something, because I was like, hang on a minute, there's a chest around here in one of these houses. This is the one. I'm glad I dropped down in order to pick this one up. Sorry about that. Should have grabbed that earlier. It, it's one that always catches me off guard. Funny, it's another brewing yarn, but we can't really use that to get rid of those bales of hay that I talked about already. Yeah, very sneaky platform right there. You won't even notice it unless you, like, accidentally blew up the egg on those two bales of hay, but... I knew I was missing a platform somewhere. I was like, that's where I need to lower the egg. But no, I was thinking of the one above, and then I was, I was like, hang on a minute, I've gone past that. So let me get back up here quickly. It won't take us too long. I mean, I guess if you fell down, you would notice it, or in a different angle, so that's kind of okay. And look at the size of that thing! He's a chubby one, and the core agents seem to hang up around here. How do they catch the express from up here? Do they have a... Do they have, like, a sky station or something? Who knows? I haven't seen a station. Unless the train flies, but then why would you have a train? Why do birds even take trains? They can fly! By the way... Look at these spikes. They look painful, don't they? They also look very PS1-esque. So... You will give me an egg? <laughs> I literally just took that one to the face. I don't know what to say about that, to be honest. Right, I've got to look for some Dweller platforms. Oh, no! I like how I stopped to just take a bit of a breather from that ridiculousness, and then I just get pecked off the side. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, this place is quite exhilarating, but at the same time, it's also peaceful in terms of its music choices, and, uh... A lot less jank! 
I will say that. The windmill is definitely the jankiest part. I just don't know why. I, I, I mean, I don't want to sound mean because I, I, I've said, I, I keep saying it's sounding bad because I say it's janky, but it just feels like that to me. Maybe it's my computer. I don't know. I haven't played any console versions of this game. That's the wrong hat. That's also the wrong hat. That's the hat. Let's use this. Go all the way through here. But yeah, I really do love this game. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't have clocked to, like, at this point right now, playing this for the channel, I'm up to 102 hours in gameplay. And that's with either, like, re-recordings to make sure everything's perfect or just playtesting certain things because I want to make sure the episode will be fine um, before actually properly recording it, mainly because of uh, updates, because they can mess things up or change your settings, and I want to make sure that the settings are consistent. So... There's a lot of stuff like that that happens, because I've had my settings changed before. I did not see you there, but thank peck, I guess, <laughs> these barriers were in the way. Okay, there's an egg there. Can I lure you into these guys and blow them up for me? No, because he can't walk over that thing. There we are. <laughs> actually, oh, for a second there, I thought that was like a uh, beehive, but it's actually a big rope. <laughs> I was like, what are bees doing here? Oh yeah, this is a part that's really annoying. Uh, coming through this house is only one way. Even though there is a, 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 a ladder. Once you go up and then try to climb back down, for whatever reason, it stops you and voids you out. And then it spits you all the way back over here. Do not know why that happens. It's a ladder, so why is it considered a void out? Especially if I'm climbing down. I honestly don't understand it, because if you fall from the outside and you land on a previous part of the level from below, you can make your way back around with no issue. It's a one-way ladder, and again, that, that, obviously that was more... Why am I doing this? <laughs> obviously it feels a lot more intentional because it's programmed to do that, but why? It's, it's so weird, and I know I could have cut back to get back to this point, but I needed to voice my reasons about that and the punishment for just climbing down the ladder again. It's... It's like, that in this case, it's jank that was programmed in. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's just that it doesn't feel like it's supposed to do that, but it does, and it's very specific, so I don't know. Right, I feel like I need to go down to that one. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's the wrong hat. Thank lord I landed on it. Oh, I could have done this earlier. I'm a muppet. But, yeah, this just proves my point. I just landed down from above, and it didn't void me out, and I'll have to make my way around again, so... Yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Ah, here we go. So we jump across here, and we'll be pretty much behind where we blew up that bale of hay, and we get another rift token for our troubles. This was the one that we saw right out there. So, kind of all comes full circle in a way. I like this music, by the way. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That was uh, scary. Well, let's come down this way at least then. For some reason, I completely forgot about these. Oh, that's the wrong hat! Need the Dweller Mask. Ouch. Well, at least I spawn back up here so I can get some health while doing that. That would be helpful. So, because, like, literally, we just got to go straight onwards, but we need to actually activate a horn in order to do it. So we've just got nothing but a split on pathway here. So I need to go back down here. At least we've got that checkpoint as our spawn point. Yeah, because, look, there's a relic right at the right in the distance over there, so I need to go get that. Yeah, I know my route isn't exactly perfect here, but there's so many split on par split off pathways, it's kind of confusing to navigate in the first place, and going higher up allows you to spot them, and that's how I get them, so it's just how I roll with this. Oh, this is clever. Yeah, I kind of like double jump until it wears off or I deactivate, and then I lunge to get the speed to make the jump. Because you got to stand on green platforms, but then there's a green wall in front of you, so you have to move when you're in mid-air, but not too early that you wall climb on the green wall itself. And they do actually expect you to go back through this area, but starting off is a lot easier, because you can just land here and then double jump, do that, and there you go. If I could have got the right angle, I could have just... Uh... Well, actually, I've got health now, so I can just do this and get back up to where I was. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't really do that. That's kind of cheap, but hey... If I fell anyway, would have happened. So, let's abuse it. You're not hitting me. Duped you out. Right, so, head around over here. Dodge you. No, okay. You. Oh, no! You rude son of a biscuit. You knock me away, then you knock the bomb into me. What was the point? If you didn't do that, the bomb would have hit me earlier. Yeah, this bomb ain't going to hit me, though. I'm not going to let it. Ew. That was epic. 
Epic dodging. Found the horn. Let's blow that. I don't think you're actually able to make the jump to that big fat bird. So... It's funny, really, though. It may be a big fat, like, pecker, but at the same time, it's like... It's face that it has when it is like that. The way it's designed is just so cute. By the way, we're not done yet. We've got to go up this way. This enemy kind of gives it away. And we're going to come through this way. I don't think I need the dweller hat anymore. I think I'll go for the uh, brewing hat this time. I pressed the one button. I lived. I did not live. I'm gone. Pfft. Well, that went... Uh, tits up. Get it? Because... Birds, blue tit. It's it's not suggestive, I swear. Because <laughs> I know how people can think. It was actual bird joke. I wanted to get creative with that one. Right. So there's a bunch more ponds. There is another. Oh, I attacked. I tried a home attack. It didn't go off. <laughs> another brewing yarn. And with that, that is all of the collectibles in this level. If I pause, we got 30 yarn. We have all the yarn in the game. All 88, except for that infinitely spawning one, which we've grabbed once, because it's obviously there, but I haven't grabbed it multiple times. We've got eight rift tokens by my totals. We should have all but one token. And we have all 27 relics. So there's no more relics for us to keep track of. We're literally just missing one more token. And... We're only missing a couple of time pieces as well. So, I guess, with anything else left to do around here, I actually tried to dodge that egg. He kind of jumped into me. Dang. Oh, he got pecked, and that's what happened. We'll just slide over here. Be nice and quiet. And grab ourselves our final time piece of the force way split. Let's bounce on this bullet. And there we go. We did it. With that, guys, see you guys next time for the finale of the Alpine Skyline. See you guys then. Hang on a minute. Every time we get a timepiece, they inhale these things. What does that mean? Well, that escalated quickly.